Oh, I got a message for the disbelievers. I got a message for those who promote mediocrity when I fail the ASVAB. Two times they said maybe the military is not for you. Oh, when I was a specialist and I failed PLDC. Oh, they say maybe the military is not for you. Oh, when I had a 2.48 and I wanted to go get my master, they said, well, maybe education is not for you. Oh, Lord, when they heard they were coming, I was becoming a Muslim chaplain. They said, there ain't no way that a Muslim chaplain will survive in the military and get to the ranks. They will never let you get there. Well, I want to tell you, I survived the military. I'm at the top of the food chain. I made colonel. I survived the educational system, even though I failed four grades coming up. I got a doctor's degree. And guess what? I'm a Muslim chaplain, colonel, first of his type. No, no, this is not about me. This is about you letting people speak limitations into your life and you're buying it. They are not your reality. They are not your existence. They don't hold the keys to your future, but you listen to them because you call them friends. You better learn to be a friend to yourself and stop letting people limit you. I am here by the will and grace of God and the belief in myself as God designed it. And he designed you the same way. So rise up, stand up, and get your butt off of disbelief and listening to those limitators and haters. <sighs> There's nothing but chains around your neck. I'm young, I'm pretty, and I can't possibly be beat. I must be the greatest. Wow, we shook up the world. Whew. It's your journey, not theirs. Go get it. Don't back down and tell them to keep their limitations to themselves. Wow, I'm young, I'm pretty, and I can't possibly be beat. I must be the greatest. I'm a bad man. We shook up the world. Wow.